Fun fact, Warren Buffett owns 400 million shares of Coca-Cola, stock ticker KO, and with its payout on December 15th, Daddy Warren just woke up to $184 million in dividends to start his Friday. What the hell did you just say? Welcome back to the Power 5 Stocks of the Week for the week of December 25th through December 29th, aka the final week of 2023. Already? This is a series I do here on my channel that comes out 30 minutes prior to market open each and every Friday. No matter if you're looking for quality dividend stocks with higher yields, great dividend growth rates, or something in between, this series is sure to have something for you. Oh, very nice. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this week's first stock. Leading off the last Power 5 of 2023, we have the stock that led the pack in dividend yield, the biggest discount, and the longest name. Allow me to take a deep breath and introduce you to Hannon Armstrong Sustainable Infrastructure Capital, stock ticker HASI. HASI is a quarterly payer in the real estate sector, paying $1.58 per share per year, with a forward dividend yield of 5.45%. HASI has been paying and growing its dividend over the last five years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 4.49%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 3.14%, and a payout ratio of 66.9%. At the time of recording, HASI was trading 26.87% off of its 52-week high. It has an ex-dividend date of December 28th with a payout date of January 12th. And here on my channel, I like to compare any and all investments to the return you could have otherwise gotten out of the S&P 500 in the same time frame. With that being said, a single investment of $10,000 into HASI 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then would have grown into $39,668.68, which comes out to a 14.77% year-over-year return rate, which is compared to the S&P that would have grown that same 10K over the same 10 years into $31,571.20, resulting in a difference of $8,097.48 on the side of HASI. This next company is one that I personally own and I don't see a lot of people talking about it. Interesting. This week's stock that's been paying and growing its dividends since 1963 is Illinois Toolworks, stock ticker ITW. ITW is a quarterly payer in the industrial sector, paying $5.60 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 2.17%. ITW has been paying and growing their dividend over the last 60 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 7.01%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 9.8%, and a payout ratio of 55.32%. At the time of recording, Illinois Toolworks was trading 2.21% off of their 52-week high. They have an ex-dividend date of December 28th with a payout date of January 11th. And that single investment of $10,000 into ITW 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then would now be worth $40,647.43, which comes out to a 15.05% year-over-year return rate and outperforms the S&P 500 by $9,076.23 over the past 10 years. Next up is a stock that has pretty solid metrics across the board. This week's leader in the dividend growth rates category is Bank First, stock ticker BFC. BFC is a quarterly payer in the financial sector, paying $1.20 per share per year, with a forward dividend yield of 1.38%. BFC has been paying and growing their dividend over the last 10 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 28.57%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 21.58%, and a payout ratio of 20.34%. At the time of recording, Bank First was trading 7.23% off of their 52-week high. They have an ex-dividend date of December 26th with a payout date of January 10th. And investing $10,000 into BFC 10 years ago while only reinvesting the dividends received, that would now be worth $56,544.43, which comes out to an 18.91% year-over-year return rate, which beats the S&P by a total of $24,973.23 over the past 10 years. Now we're down to the final stock in today's video. Not crying, right? Not crying. Before we get to that, please just take two seconds to make sure you've clicked that like button and then check to make sure you're subscribed with the bell rung so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. I have a lot of exciting dividend content in the works for 2024 that you won't want to miss. All right, now let's see which stock crushed the S&P 500 over the past 10 years. This final stock shows you that focusing on quality companies, regardless of the yield or the payout, can be very fruitful. I like fruit. This week's stock with the best 10-year returns is the Insign Group, stock ticker ENSG. ENSG is a quarterly payer in the healthcare sector, paying $0.23 cents per share per year, with a forward dividend yield of 0.21%. ENSG has been paying and growing their dividend over the last 16 years. They have a 3-year dividend growth rate of 12.86%, a 5-year dividend growth rate of 9.82%, and a payout ratio of just 4.44%. At the time of recording, ENSG was trading 1.56% off of its 52-week high. 
It has an ex-dividend date of December 28th with a payout date of January 31st. And again, we have that one-time investment of $10,000 into ENSG 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then, which would now be worth $102,048.02, which is a 26.14% year-over-year return rate, which more than triples the return of the S&P and results in a difference of $70,476.82 on just 10K just 10 years ago. With that being said, I was just able to show you four different dividend stocks that are the best of the best. These stocks not only come with a dividend streak of at least five years, but they've also outperformed the S&P 500 over the past 10 years and have ex-dividend dates of this coming week. You can't make this stuff up. Be sure to let me know down in the comments if any of these stocks seemed interesting to you and deserve a deeper dive. And if it's your first time here, make sure you're checking out this playlist for all of your dividend needs. But until next time, see ya.